So here's the almost finished shed. Well, it's pretty much finished. So we've got the uh, cool room wall panel. Lots of insulation. That's the roof. On the supports, I'll be putting another timber support down at the ends here eventually. Um, and a motor. Well, not a motor, but at least some wheels to uh, be able to wheel it out. So all we used is recycled um, IBC tanks. There's a few over there. We use them for wicker beds and other fun jobs like uh, tree guards. Good, good idea for a tree guard. And old, uh, we've always scrounged old tin, corrugated iron, whatever, around. So just cut that up with the old angle grinder. Here's my all sky camera mounted to the side, helped by uh, Ross, Ross Holton. It's got its own little, uh, fan in there doing cooling, complex cooling. And now I've just been fitting the flashing to the edges to so guarantee no, um, so that's an unfinished one, guarantee no moisture thing. And I'll look at the top, probably put some foam filler in there. And here's some of the leftover insulation we've got from it. another shed we're building. So it's got nice um, air pockets built in, reflective surface. That's like an extra insulation. So that's the interior. So it's quite small, but it's fantastic for uh, yeah, a smallish setup. We've got uh, yeah, power, which I'll be mounting to the side. Um, for the insulation, we've got um, some... Uh, what is it? Uh, moisture, moisture um, protection here uh, for dampness, damp course. So the water goes. So any condensation forms before the blue, which is like a vinyl-y material that runs down the inside, reflective. Then we've got the insular wall, uh, wire wall, whatever it is. And then we've got this bonus of uh, another reflective insulation there. Uh, and yeah, because we realised that um, the insulation, this wool, it's very, very woolly and particle-y, comes out really easily. So I realised at the last minute I better cover it <laughs> or else I'm going to have with fur all through the massive light bucket. Yeah, so that's that's handy. And yeah, well, we'll I'll put wheels on this eventually, but it's easy enough to pull and push. Uh, and uh, maybe automate it one day, one day. But we've got a big farm, so we've got a lot to do. But um, quite a big, easily 50, 50 mils by, 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres, probably deeper slab. And then I rammed three star pickets all the way down, halfway th through the hole, and then poured the concrete. So it's got like really good bite to the ground. And we've got the pier that, that Ross helped build, or he built. And a little uh, Skywatcher, Skyventure DTI, and a 135 mil lens rocking on, and a little minuscule, tiny, very sensitive 1.4 micron size QHY715C. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that.